we've literally come in 10 meters from the, from the open pit. And what is so nice and the major difference between underground mining and open pit mining is that first you'll notice how clean, clean everything is. By, mine, by underground mining um, practice, you keep your sidewalls clean. You physically see what's happening in the sidewall because mine, underground mine safety is so important. But um, not only that, when it's clean, the geology is, is just in front of you. And um, what we've got here is, is perfect Zambian emerald geology. We've got our massive TMS that is um, here above us, and it's come onto the what we call our footwall contact. So now what I've just described outside is that pegmatite intruding the TMS, and you've got that vertical contact. We've also got a, a footwall horizontal contact. And this, this layer itself here is a very fine-grained quartz tourmaline layer. This black rock is the, the bottom of our deposit. From here and below, you go into the mica schist. And we know, because as the ore body dips below this, this is, becomes footwall and it's barren. So this is the end point in terms of footwall mining. Just above, on this, on this QT relating to the TMS, you've got your reaction zone that's formed. And when I say um, reaction zone, this is the very soft, black, biotite phlogopite schist. It's so soft, you can literally break it with your hands. And um, it's mostly biotite. And within this, this is what has protected the, the emeralds for 500 million years. It's a horizontal contact that we've got consistently running along this deposit. So from an underground mining technique, we target mining the foothold because you always, as you progress, you always have your footwall incidental ore. Um, so as you progress, you're always taking waste, and you've got a percentage of, produ of, of potential production on, on the footwall. Um, it's very soft, yet as massive and as hard as this is, it, it's, there's no sliding or, or failure of the rock. But um, that's what we're targeting. So once again, you can see from here, you maybe have a half a meter zone to maybe a meter zone that you would target, and this all would get sent to the washing plant for checking. And then above it, you'll have your waste and your potential com contamination component because you, you need to mine at least 1.5 to 2 meters high to physically get people or your monorail or your haulage system in place.